Madam President, combating discrimination against women requires holistic approaches in dealing with changing world of work, leaving no one behind in an increasingly connected world necessitates international solidarity and cooperation. There are certain factors that are generating more discrimination and inequalities. Unilateral coercive measures are surely worsening the overall economic situation of women in the world and violating their human rights. I thank you, Madam President. And we give the floor to United Nations Watch. Madam President, my name is Shafarak Shajarizadeh and I am an Iranian women's rights activist. I commend the working group for its report. I thank you for your appeals calling for the release of women's rights lawyer Nasrin Sutudeh, who was my lawyer, and also for the release of women jailed in Iran for protesting the compulsory hijab. Page 5 of your report addresses laws that discriminate against women. Iranian women are victims of such laws. For 40 years, the Islamic Republic of Iran has used the hijab as a tool to repress women. The government and its followers routinely abuse, violent, and subjugate women, preventing women from having any important role in society. Because I advocated against this discrimination, I was arbitrarily detained three times, interrogated, beaten, and thrown into solitary confinement. It was the most frightening experience of my life. We need support from the world. That's why I must ask the United Nations. One day after Nasrin Sutude was condemned to 38 years in prison, why did the UN Commission on the Status of Women elect the Islamic Republic of Iran as a judge of women's rights complaints? Thank you.